garden today. Working on some beds, trellises, fruit trees, and another bed right here. We're using trees from our land and uh, organic topsoil to fill the beds. Let's go check on the animals. Here, our little goats are on lockdown. This is our nanny goat, Chip. She dropped the most chocolate chips. <laughs> and this is Moon, our buck. We have another one. She's missing somewhere. Here we go. This is our Lily farm dog, Baloo. He's an Australian, wait, an Australian Shepherd mix. Not sure what he's mixed with. We adopted him from the pound. He keeps our goats in line. Here's our piggy. Hey piggy. We got a Berkshire. She's our female. We had a male, but we uh, sent him to breeder camp. Got a little pot belly. Pot belly for the bird, for her company. And then we have this, we thought was a female. It's actually a castrated male. We're not exactly sure what this one is. We're thinking American Guinea, maybe mixed with pot belly. And this is their their area, their piggy area. All right, so here I have one of these little five dollar kitty pools from Walmart. They come in the blue color at my Walmart. So I got purple spray paint. I'm gonna make my garden a a theme color. Not a theme color. Or yeah, a theme color. Like a one color. Um so like anything that has containers is gonna be like this purple. I think it's called uh grape. Grape purple. Um so yeah, so this is gonna be a strawberry bed. So I've already poked holes in it. We're gonna Fill it up with some topsoil right here. My little handy dandy worker. My son, Ephraim. He said hi. <laughs> He's gonna help me put this dirt into this bed and then we're gonna plant some strawberries. And then I got this plum tree here that's in bloom. It's blooming. Really pretty blooms. It's gonna be underneath the, I mean, above the strawberries. And then I have another pool that's going to go here too with some more strawberries. So we can have strawberries. Alright, strawberries are planted. Excited for strawberries. We also got some purple grapes planted to go on this trellis. Dahlia's has two bulbs planted. This, I guess, is going to be our salad bar here. 